Motor City, Detroit City. What's up, fam? It's your girl Skip Back Kicks uh, back with another review. This one is a quick turnaround. This might be a record for me. Um, so you know what it is. It's a Space Jam 11. So I copped them today. Um, quick story about this one. So everywhere in my local area, um, and even I think on online on the on the sneakers apps and stuff like that. You had to put in for your raffle um, Monday or Tuesday, and so all the all the stores here were doing raffles, with the exception of one. And Monday, I forgot about it. Uh, Tuesday, I ended up working till nine o'clock, and I called them like, "Hey, y'all still open?" They were like, "No, nah, dog, sorry, we can't help you." So um, I didn't have any raffle tickets, and there was only one store in the local area called Mr. Allen's, um, kind of a lo local boutique shop, which actually has multiple locations here that's growing, but. Um, and they had pairs, and they were doing first come, first serve, with the exception of, like, two locations. So I'm like, all right. Uh, I wasn't too worried about it because I pre-ordered with the plug, but, you know, I wanted to have a pair in hand so I can do this review. So I got up. I woke up at 8, and I was like, no, nah, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> so I woke up at 10 o'clock. Stopped at the post office to pick up a different pair of shoes on my way. And then went to the first Mr. Allen's near my house. And I saw people standing outside. I'm like, they probably just getting men sizes, but I ain't standing outside. So I went to another Mr. Allen's near my job. And uh, nobody was out there. It looked like, you know, you, you pulling up, I'm like, oh, crap. They probably sold out. So I still go in. I walk straight up to the counter. I'm like, I need a grade school size 5. She's like, all right, 181, whatever the, the price was. Walked out with my shoes, just like that. So I'm able to do the review for you guys. So uh, hopefully, I think there were still pairs available on Nike.com. So hopefully anybody who won them should be able to get them. I'm so happy about this. And eventually I'm going to stop pre-ordering with the plugs. Even though, like, my price, because I do it early, is really close to retail. But anyway, y'all want to see a shoe. So the official name and colorway is Air Jordan 11 Retro Boys Grade School Black Concord and White. And I got these in the 5. I told you guys I'm starting to do size 5 now all my kicks this is like mr allen's little sticker or whatever um so let's do this i looked at them in the store so um these do get the 23 paper so if you don't have it you may have a problem there um there's a stamp here red stamp inside and probably some more but let's look at the shoes these are quite nice, I gotta tell you. Um, I didn't understand for a long time why people went so crazy about this over the Space Jams, but it's really just a beautiful, clean shoe. So there you go. It's your Space Jam 11, grade school. Um, I do want to do a quick comparison to see, like, how... I don't think... So everybody says, like, the patent leather is going to be higher or whatever like it was back in the day. It doesn't seem to me to be that much higher. And maybe that's just a difference between grade school and men's. But I heard a lot of people even talking about the men's pair. It's like, it's not that much higher where you're going to really notice it. Uh, one thing you'll notice is you see the white uh, kind of cut marks from um, the patent leather, which is different. Um, they also said to expect peaks, which is interesting because most of the time for grade school sizes, we get peaks anyway. And oddly enough, we really don't have any. I don't have any on this shoe. Um, let me look at the other shoe nah not really any peaks um so y'all tell me you know for everybody else who got their pairs if you guys have any peaks but there's a shoe man it's still beautiful so you have um your kind of icy blue um outsole you got your carbon fiber shank that you can see kind of runs from here to here with your blue or concord uh traction pods with your white jump man uh patent leather here at the upper as well as that um mesh like material that they use and a little bit of leather here on the back and there you go you got your 45 on the back as well um third spacing you have your jump man jordan right there um so a lot of people were talking a lot about the 45 on the back versus the 23 so if I remember this correctly, I got to get it right. So in the movie, in the Space Jam movie, he had 23 on the back. But when he actually first wore them in a game, when he came back, um, they had the 45 on them. Even though his jersey by then, they had fixed his jersey back to being 23, the shoe actually had a 45 on them. And how could I forget what y'all all really want to see? Nike here on the inside as well. So there you go. Here you go. Check it out. I have peaks on these. A peak, at least right here. And none, none on these yet.
Anyway, uh, y'all know I like black shoes. Um, this is going to be a very wearable shoe. I might keep the second pair um, that's coming in. I may just take it back. I don't know. Um, but happy to have it. I'm going to do it on foot. Um, yeah, real simple, real straightforward. Hopefully, everybody who won them able to get them. Um, these soles are going to be interesting to try to keep up with, but it's all good. Where are your kicks? So there you go. I'm going to give you all another look. 45 on the back. If you take out the insole, there's your, there we go, not that hard to take out, alright, there's your Nike Air, let's see what the back looks like, see how sturdy it is, that's usually a difference between the, the fakes, the insole is a little floppy, um, so there you go. I'm going to let y'all see this on feet. And um, again, good luck. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. 